So good afternoon to all. Hope you're doing great. So in this video, we'll be discussing about top two stocks that we can buy right now, especially for the midterm investment. So we'll try to discuss what are the stocks name. We'll do a little bit of fundamental analysis and we'll go to the technical charts to find out what can be the best possible levels. So before that, if you're new to the channel, then definitely subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon to get instantly notified. And most importantly, do join the Telegram group because in Telegram, we'll discuss all the instant updates followed by stocks for intraday swing and long term. I'll provide link in the description followed by comment section. Okay, so the first stock that we'll be discussing today is going to be HFCL. So this is not a new stock for us. So many times we have discussed in our YouTube channel, uh, especially the fundamentals and technical part. So just quickly, we'll try to discuss about it. Uh, so this company is basically related to the telecom equipment, optical fiber. So this is the main business of it. And also we know that it is into that 5G segment and many good orders also were available for it. But recent quarter results, when it has posted some flat results, uh, the stock has not given any much positive movement but still the stock is very much attractive for the long-term investment so if you try to see the market cap it is almost 11,000 crores and current price is around 80.6 so high is somewhere around 100 rupees and low is just 23.8 so stock P is around 32.9 and book value is around 15.1 most importantly, if you try to observe the ROC that is written on capital employed followed by written on equity. So these are pretty much decent. So debt to equity is around 0.34. Promoter holding is somewhere around 40% and uh, interest coverage ratio is around 3.64. So we know already it is a decent company, but technically uh, it is looking uh, very good. So we'll go to the technical chart. So before that, we'll also see what are the major pros and cons. So if you see the major pros and cons, the company is expected to give a very good quarter result and sales growth also has increased over the past few years. So negatives wise, only thing is dividend payout and uh, borrowings followed by the promoter holding, which is slightly less. And uh, if we try to have a peer comparison, uh, in the market so it has done the comparison with few infra companies so there we can see the roce wise it is around 19.66 which is very decent as compared to other companies so in the 5g segment this is going to be a very good company if you want to build a portfolio for long-term investment so if you try to compare the financials year on year basis a very good uh, uh, movement was there but slightly uh, we can say the results were flat so that is the reason what i told initially the stock would not generate that buying volume but in the future it has that potential so net profit and profit before tax everything are decent for the company so quickly let's go to technical charts and we'll try to see what are the best possible levels okay so you can see the technical charts after giving a very good movement from uh, this particular level especially the 75 rupees zone we have seen a very good upside movement and currently the stock is facing a little bit of resistance near the 85 rupees level so clearly you can buy this particular stock above 85 if you have that patience so don't hurry wait enter above 85 for the targets of uh, 95 followed by 100 plus so these are going to be short term targets and long term obviously it can go above 150 160 also so it has that potential so you can keep holding it for a certain period of time right so period of time means more than a year so like that if you hold it if you build a long term portfolio so then it would be very very helpful for you okay so quickly let's go to the second stock Okay, so the second stock that we'll be discussing is, today is going to be the Sterling and Wilson Renewable Energy. So this is also one such famous stock. So many people know it. So this is basically engaged in uh, solar engineering field and uh, it provides various solutions specially related to the solar power project. So that is the primary business of it. So we know solar companies. Uh, are that very very volatile especially their financials keep fluctuating very fastly because this is an upcoming sector so this is not a fully uh, developed sector like a complete recognition has not come yet for it since india is still moving in further in this renewable energy segment so long-term perspective of solar 
and renewable energy has a very bright potential so there this particular company may give the return so this is only for a long term investment purpose right so if you try to see the market cap it is around 6800 crores so current price is 362 so high was somewhere around 509 rupees and low was only around 219 and most importantly the roc and roe so they are completely negative so since the company is still loss making because uh, as i told you that recognition for the solar and renewable energy segment is yet to come so that if it is generated in the future it has that potential to give some very good return so it is a patiently you need to wait in this stock so don't expect quick returns so debt also is there 446 crores and uh, promoter holding which is significantly very high 74 which is good thing and pledging which is somewhere around 48.2% okay so second most important thing so the reason of picking is the promoter holding so as you can see in pros and cons the promoters are increasing their stake regularly so that shows the confidence that the company uh, especially the management trust uh, that in the future it has some very bright potential so rest of all it has obviously negative roe roc everything is down that is one important thing and pledging is also there so these are the major negatives okay so next if you try to have a peer comparison in the market so obviously we can see every company in this field has Uh, losses that is common no company is in that profit zone because uh, that potential which it needs to get that will come in future only so the current situation also is not favorable so that's the reason all this roc results everything are down if you see the results also the march 2022 result if you see again uh, the losses have significantly reduced if you try to compare that so losses were significantly reduced here also you can see profit before tax got reduced net profit earlier it was very high but now significantly the losses have reduced okay so from max losses now it has come to decent losses so like that if it continues to reduce it so at some point of time it becomes profitable and you will get that expected return right so quickly let's go to technical charts okay so if you observe the technical charts of sw S Solar, which is also called SW Solar, Sterling Wilson Solar. So the current price is somewhere around three sixty one point nine zero. So a very good recovery, especially after forming this uh, double bottom pattern. We have seen a very good recovery. You can say triple bottom also three times. It has approached that particular setup after giving a very good breakout. You can see it has almost gone to three eighty rupees level. So now here. the clean breakout zone that the stock is forming like a pole and flag type of pattern so about 370 375 closing easily you can expect the stock will start flying towards 400 would be the first one and then we have the 420 plus rupees levels as the near term targets right so keep this in radar only once it gives a perfect breakout you can enter if you're a risky trader or risky investor you can enter at the current levels also so these are going to be some important levels that you need to focus so both these stocks are only for long term perspective so you need to hold them for more than 6 months or 1 year according to your convenience to get some better output okay so any further queries you can ask in the comment section and also you can connect with me in instagram instagram id is stocks dairy yt so until then stay safe take care bye bye